Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This time, I'm going to show you how to get through the Marakujik Shrine, which is dubbed Wield Wonders. This is located just above Goron City in Elden Canyon. Once you're ready, you want to come over here, and then we need to rebuild this bridge right here. So you want to take the Ultra Hand, grab the last section of the bridge, and then attach it all the way to the top. This way, it is taut enough to allow you to walk over it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a machine to build a bridge for us. So we want to take this little rectangle car here, attach it to the end of the last piece of the bridge, and then once it's attached, turn it on. It will cross the lava for us, pulling the bridge. And then once it reaches the other side, it should climb up and pull the bridge taut, and then you can cross over. And that's that section. All right, so for a second here, I'm really just gonna look for the chest of the shrine. It is not up this staircase. I'm a little curious why they give you this staircase, so if you feel like there's something I missed, please tell me, but it didn't seem like there was anything missing for me. But once you're ready, you want to go back to where you ended, and then we're gonna take the two other vehicles that are here, and we're gonna attach them to each other to make a bit of a four-wheel drive vehicle. And then this is gonna allow us to cross this uh, really big lake of lava, and then because it's a you know a bigger engine or bigger vehicle, we're gonna be able to sort of easily roll over that little sandbar you see in the middle. So when it's ready, just turn it on, and then you're gonna stand here and let the machine do the work. You wanna be careful not to get splashed by the lava, so just don't stand near either end. But other than that, you should be okay. And then once you reach the other side, you can turn the vehicle off, and then we are just gonna ascend through this platform back here. And then there's another construct waiting for us on the other side, so we can very quickly take care of him. Again, I'm just looking for this treasure chest because I didn't realize how big the shrine was going to be, but the chest is right in front of us. So you want to take out a weapon, deal with this construct, and then the chest is on top of that pillar over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this bridge-looking object and then we are going to create a ramp to get up to the chest. Now I'm gonna basically flip this, put it on a 45 degree angle, and then run up the ramp, but this is an ascendable platform, so you can just walk under it and ascend up. Either will work, but uh, I'm still sort of in breath of the wild mode here, not fully understanding that I have the ability to ascend through ceilings all the time. Inside is a mighty construct bow, at least it was for me. Let me know what your treasure was. And then once you're ready, you want to take that bridge piece and then attach it to the front of the car. And you want to do so with the sort of lips facing upward. And then what this is going to do is it's literally just going to push all these orbs into the chamber that's in front. And what this is going to do is weigh down a switch that is in this room. So it may not look like anything's happening, but as these orbs sort of get in here, they are gradually weighing this thing down. So what you need to do is you need to get as many orbs in here as possible. It doesn't have to be every single one, but it does need to be a, a good amount of them. And so what I recommend doing is if you have a Korok leaf, attach it to a weapon. This way it creates a bit of a fan, and then you can just blow the rest of them into the uh, little chamber there, and then it will weigh it down. So once you do that, Everything gets weighed down, the switch turns green, and the door opens. And that's it. All right, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the Join button below this video. You can also leave a super thanks by clicking the Heart icon below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The links for those are in the description below. As always, I'll be Johnny Cage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.